Hi, my name is Jonah Bosques. I'm an extension agent uh, for Hardy County. Uh, we work for U5 as extension. And uh, today we're gonna show you a floating raft system. This is a hydroponic system, very easy, low maintenance, but uh, we're gonna walk through how to assemble one and the pieces and parts that are necessary to make this work. We have two inch thick styrofoam. You can buy this at the box stores, the big box stores. This is used for insulation. And this is what our, we're gonna use for our floating bed. We have net cups. They can, we have two different sizes here. We have a four inch net cup. Uh, ideally you would use a three inch, but this is okay. We have a one inch net cup as well. Um, and then we're gonna have this uh, cocoa fiber pellets. Um, they're gonna be our growing media instead of using, if you choose to use uh, or you know the cocoa pellets, you can use this ones. If you use different growing media, you can use uh, something like uh, this inch, uh, one inch net cup to contain the media so it doesn't go any, everywhere. Well, of course, we're gonna use some water. Uh, this water needs to be adjusted for pH and then we're gonna have some fertilizer. For marking your styrofoam, you're gonna need a, a marker, and uh, I usually cut my uh, styrofoam with a knife. Uh, you can use a styrofoam cutter. I usually use this one. Air pump, and this is just a regular fish tank air pump. You can adapt it to multiple buckets if you want to, maybe three or four. The other thing that you're going to need is going to be a four gallon bucket like this one. It's got to be food grade. So when you're growing your veggies here, uh, you're not worried about anything breaking up and going into the plant. So it's going to be, you know, safe for human consumption. Now we're going to get into the nuts and bolts on how to set up the system. So uh, we have the recycled styrofoam basically trays the bottom of the bucket what we're going to be doing now you can do this with any any type of container um, that can hold water it has to be plastic it doesn't need to be a metal container because that metal can react with our nutritive solutions and get uh, rusted etc anyway so this one had a hole of course uh, for tracing our other hole I'm gonna have the bottom of the net cup as a guide. Fast forward, this is gonna be looking like that. You cut the edges of it, you measure against the surface area, make sure that this, this uh, piece of styrofoam can, can, can loosely float uh, if water levels go uh, down. That the, that the floating raft goes down with it. We measure the, uh, the width. If it's too loose and it, it sinks too much, um, you can fix that with uh, some of this uh, expanded clay or uh, rocks or pebbles in order for it not to uh, drown your, your plants. Typically, the water level is going to barely be touching our media surface. The media acts like a sponge and then absorbs that water upwards towards the root and has um, enough surface area for the air roots to oxygenate the, um, the scavenger roots. Uh, let's, let's look at those roots real quick. We have different roots here. This is my media and she's been in the system for three weeks or so. And you have different roots. You have some short roots here. Those are the air roots. And these are the scavenger roots that are going to feed that plant. So those roots, that media, needs to fall just uh, on top of that water line. No more than 1 16th of an inch in, uh, in, in depth. Um, so it can maximize that air exchange that the roots need. Now that we have our system uh, pre-cut and everything is in place, then we proceed to uh, work with the water solution. And that's another short video for you, but let, let, us, let us go in and uh, mimic what your system is gonna look like. 
So you put your plants on that floating raft and they're floating and they're happy. That solution is gonna provide everything that they need except for light that you're gonna to have to, with artificial lights, if you're inside like us, or on your patio, at least have eight hours of direct sunlight. The other thing that we have is an air stone. This air stone, we pre-made a, uh, a little hole here for the air uh, hose to hook up. We make sure that the uh, roots are properly oxygenated and the water is moving constantly. And that little sound that you hear, that's going to be the, the air bubbles hitting that styrofoam on the bottom. You can see how that water is moving. That's what you're after. And basically this is the nuts and bolts of a floating raft system. If it rains too much, the water is going to overflow, but the styrofoam bed is not going to move typically with you know a decent Florida rain. All the nutrients in the water is not going to be that, that big of a deal either uh, in a typical rainfall because of that styrofoam that pitches most of the water outwards. We walked you through the you know all the, the process of setting up your floating bed system. Um, I know that you're going to have some questions. When you do, don't hesitate to call us at UFIFS Extension. You have an extension office in every community in Florida. So uh, look us up. Uh, you can also hit us up at Cafe Latino on Facebook. Um, and we're here to help. We're here to provide solutions to your problems. Uh, in this case, uh, we're talking about growing plants in a floating bed system.